Hello friends, welcome to Uniquely Vintage You. Today I've got a really fun video that I'm excited to share with y'all because today I'm gonna to take you antique shopping at one of my most favorite places. It's a place where I have found so many of my vintage treasures and it is in Jinx, Oklahoma. So anytime I get a chance to head that way and shop, it's always a good day. And today I'm gonna to take you with me. I'm also gonna share with you a couple other antique stores and then at the end I'm gonna share with you what I bought and some thrift store finds. I found some really good things at the thrift store, so I'm excited to share that with you as well. But before we get into this video, I just wanna give a big shout out and a thank you to some of my sweet friends here on YouTube because I've had some of my most wonderful friends share my channel with so many of y'all. And I'm so grateful and thankful that you found me through them. So I hope that you will go over and check out these amazing women and their channels. They are so sweet, so talented, and just incredible people. And I know that you will love their channels as much as you enjoy mine. And so I just hope you'll go check them out. But again, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you to Susan at the old so-and-so. Thank you to sweet Sandy over at, oh, she changed her name, um, Cedar Creek Cottage love you. I love you, Sandy. I'm still trying to remember, but she is a doll and her home is fabulous and you will love her as you will love Susan. Susan's home is incredible. If you watched her, which many of you told me in the last video that you did, she, uh, what can I say? Her and Jean E, go follow Jean E. They both have an amazing collection of vintage antiques, primitives. It's all amazing and you will adore them both so much. And I also want to give another mention to Joanne over at the Curated Home. Her channel is beautiful. It's filled with so many wonderful treasures. She loves to do amazing DIYs. You won't even imagine how great it is. And then also I wanted to share with you Don't Mind at the Till Pumpkin. I love them all. Of course, I love so many of my friends on YouTube. I just want to give a quick shout out to these channels and thank them for sharing me on their channel and I just pray that God will bless you so much for your kindness. But I've talked long enough. Let's get started with this video. Let me share with you this amazing footage at these stores and then I can't wait to share with you what I picked up. Friends, if you ever get the chance to shop the antique stores in Jinx, Oklahoma, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. There is so many wonderful stores. And when we were there, it was storming and raining. And so we really didn't get to stop in as many as we, as we liked, but we did hit three. And my favorite, of course, is this River City Trading. It is this is where I've shopped for many years and got so many wonderful treasures. Everything I think is priced so well and it's just so fun to see all of the things that they have to offer. The other store that we stopped at was Pink Lily and Reds and they all had such amazing things. I hope you'll really sit back and enjoy this video and I just wanted to tell you if you're looking for unique items for your home, even if it's if you're looking for Easter or spring decor, you can always find something different if you're looking at the antique store or the thrift store and you know it's always fun to incorporate new and different things in your home and I just had so much fun shopping in the store it had been such a long time since I had been and so it was just a really fun day and again I can't wait to share with you what we bought so I hope you'll stick around to the end to see what we purchased. Looking back, I wish I had to grab some of these items. Look at this bunny, and he was only $6. I don't know why I didn't pick him up. It was when we first got in the store, and it was super crowded, and I just, I don't know. I guess I was just so in my element in trying to video, but so sweet. I wish I'd have got a couple of those items right there. And then I found this amazing clock, and I've been looking for one kind of like this one right here. I absolutely love it. But sadly, there was no price, and so I walked away. But there's just so many wonderful things that you can find when you're shopping. 
Susan, this made me think of you. And look at this gorgeous bed. Is that not amazing? Oh, I thought it was so gorgeous. And I would have liked to have brought that home with me for sure. But have you guys ever seen canisters like this? I thought they were so unusual and so amazing at the same time. So I just had, again, so much fun looking around. And I want to show you one other thing. Um, there was this old baby bed, and it was so similar to the one that we had when we were growing up. Um, I think Mother kept it for all of his kids, but it was similar to this one right here. And then, of course, there were so many pretty brass little deers. I that would be perfect for Christmas. And then I found this sweet little bottle. Is that not just so precious? Again, so much fun to go shopping. After we left there, we did go over to the Pink Lily, and this is some footage of this store. It was so gorgeous, so many wonderful, beautiful things. But of course, what we thought was the most amazing was this beautiful shop kitty. He was so precious. And again, so many wonderful, fun things to find. And if you need a little bit more entertaining, here you go. Here's Easton having fun. It's so much fun to go shopping with this sweet boy. Look at these gorgeous bowls. I thought they were so beautiful. And again, these made me think of my sweet friend, Jean E. So before we left, we headed to a thrift store, which was really close, and the only thing that we really found was this piano. with you some of the things that I thrifted. Now this did not come from my trip on this day, but it came a little bit earlier. And this was from the Goodwill. And it's so funny. It was $4.79, but I think it was only like $2.98 at a previous thrift store. So I guess I'm going to bought it and then donated it again. But it goes with another one of these that I bought previously, which is right here. And I keep my utensils in mind by my stove. So, of course, I had to have this small one to go with it. And I thought that was a great buy, and I was excited to add it to my collection. Then I found at another store this amazing 
ironstone pitcher. And you've probably seen me style this in my spring uh, decorating videos, but friends, when I, I always go down the same aisle where all the dishes are, and that aisle was so crowded, and so I just went a different way and looked around. And when I walked toward that aisle and I saw it sitting there with no one touching it, I couldn't believe it. So I couldn't get over there quick enough and grab it. And then, you know, this was from another thrifting day that I was out, and there was nothing in the store, and I was just praying and asking the Lord, God, you know, just show me a piece of beautiful ironstone. And he did. You know, God cares about everything, the big and the small. And I was just so thrilled to get this gorgeous platter for only $3.98. And I just thought that was such a great deal. And I was so thankful the Lord left this just for me. But let's get into what I got on the antique trip today. Now, I found this amazing chocolate mold. I'm going to show you in just one second what it looks like right here. It is so sweet. I I don't have any old ones. This is old and vintage and I just I couldn't pass it up. And I think it was like 1250, but I just thought it was really sweet. Somebody had tied this ribbon and glued it on the bottom and I'll probably change that, but I just thought it was so pretty. And then I found this gorgeous bottle. You've probably seen that me pick it up in the store. But I love displaying with little bibles that are bottles that are different like this and um, I think it was only three dollars and then when we were in the antique store reds this is what I found and it was marked 20 I think it was marked 45 dollars and it was half priced so I gave you know 20 250 or something like that for it but I just Oh, I thought it was beautiful. I wish it had been two, but there was only one. But I'm going to use this and display this in my home. I'm going to display all of these in my home. So I hope you guys will come back for my home tour, my sister's home tour, because we can't wait to share with you the new things that we've added in that we haven't got to show you yet. So we're definitely looking forward to that. But guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did. And before I go, I just want to leave you with this beautiful Bible verse. He believed in the Lord. Genesis 15, 6. Friends, has God spoken to you about something profound, a profound desire that you have in your heart? And did you believe him? I mean, real faith, the faith that honors the Lord. It's not just belief in a certain promise fulfilled or a blessing giving. Instead, it's trusting our Lord and Savior for his unfailing wisdom, power, and character, regardless of how things turn out. We can trust the Lord because he means what he says and he will accomplish what he promised. Friends, always put your faith and trust in the Lord. Guys, we love you. We appreciate you. We can't thank you enough for being here. You bless our lives in more ways than we can ever tell you. And I hope that you have a blessed week and we look forward to seeing the next one. Bye, y'all.